So, best way to find the owner of a vacant house, talk to the neighbors, hands down. That's been by far the best method. Just to, I know it sounds very simple, like, well, that's no, that's no big secret. No kidding. No, no, I told you, what we do here is not rocket science. We're finding vacant houses, we talk to the neighbors, they call them what? Blank neighbors. Thank you, nosy neighbors. They call them nosy neighbors for a reason, right? Nosy neighbors, they know. And, and just, they're not just nosy, they just, you just know your neighborhood. The house is vacant for six months, you probably have an idea of why. Because somebody talks when they're out there doing the lawn or whatever. Off-market free. This costs you nothing to find deals. So networking, you network with agents, estate sales, antique dealers, lawyers, estate, tax, divorce, clean-out companies, contractors, dumpster companies, wholesalers, referrals, mail carriers, social media, flyers. These are all free ways you can find houses. Here is my theory. If you can network with these people, let them know you'll pay them a referral fee if they bring you a deal. They're already in front of the houses you want to buy for their own reason. The dumpster guy is there because they ordered a dumpster to clean out mom's house. Right? The estate people are going in because someone's passed away and they're going to they're do an estate sale. They're already in front of your clients. Leverage your time by saying, hey, if you can put me in contact with them and I buy that house, I'll pay you a thousand bucks. Is it worth a thousand bucks if you can turn around and flip a house and make 50 grand? Yeah. I, if you don't think so, you're in the wrong room. That's a great investment, by the way. Okay? So you want to find off-market deals. That's where the money's at and that's a free way to do it. <laughs>